again, Butch, what, what was your question? Uh, I had read where uh, one professor had stated that he thought uh, measuring the megalodon size, you would uh, account one centimeter at the root of the tooth would be equivalent to 4.5 feet. And your thoughts on that? Well, it, it's difficult to, to correlate the total length of a shark, especially white sharks, with the size of the teeth. And, and there's two classic examples here. Here's a, a white shark that was, uh, let's see, this was 19 and a half feet long with very narrow teeth. Uh, in fact, uh, they almost look mako-like, but they are serrated, and there's a white shark. And the one next door, that's from Western Australia, the one next door here from California has fairly wide triangular teeth. And this shark here was about two feet shorter than that one. And the jaws, this really, this jaw here I think is a little bigger. And the teeth are much wider. So it's, it's very difficult to correlate the, the length or size of a white shark based on the size of the teeth. I wouldn't relate to like a subspecies. Uh, or, I know the great whites are world travelers, but yeah, yeah that's the problem. Uh, they used to think maybe they were isolated populations, but they've uh, actually uh, tagged and tracked white sharks from California out to Hawaii and back, and from the Indian Ocean to Australia, from actually the the east coast of Africa to Australia and back. So um, they get mixed up so much, it doesn't seem likely that they're isolated populations. The genetic pool would be, yeah, it wouldn't yeah. be isolated. Yeah. I was shocked 